along with the jig, you will need a pair of tweezers with a fairly sharp point on it to make a small circle in the wire. You will need a pair of cutters, whether it be flesh cutters like this, a small little pair of, uh, say, nails, clippers or scissors, something to snip your wire with when you're finished. And, of course, your wire. This wire is it's made with 26 gauge round fine silver and milled to an 18 gauge wide ribbon to make your motifs with. We're going to make the teardrop or the pear shaped. By doing that you take your tweezers and make a small little hole in the end of your filler wire. You take and place that over your first pin. Go around the second pin. Back around the first pin. And then go up the next pin on the row. Back around the first. Keeping your wires straight and flat. Go through the next section between the pins and back around the first again. Now, you can either hold it in your hand like this or you can lie it on the table and control it with your thumbs this way. Again, keep your wires straight and flat. Be careful you don't pull it too tight for it to jump the ridge, but it needs to be touching so that when you solder it, the solder will flow properly. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins. Check your work. Make sure they're all laying snug with each other. They're flat up and down, and then you can snip it off about a quarter of an inch or these between the second and third pin from the top, like so. Your lifter plate, bring it up a little at a time, it will pop it off without any distortion, and there is your first teardrop shape like this. Now sometimes it'll stick out like this. You can take your tweezers bend it in slightly and that'll hold until you're ready to use it. And there's the first one. The way you go around the pins on this jig will make a difference in the way that your motifs will look. This is the pear-shaped or the teardrop in different methods. This was wrapped around one pin at a time as you go up the jig. This has two wraps around each pin as it went up the jig. You can see the difference in the size and the density of the uh, design. This was wrapped every other pin and this was wrapped every third pin. You notice this is much thinner and open this is more open than these, however it's not as open as that, so there is different ways that you can do that. You can also put a slight turn on the top of it to give it a different appearance. Whether it's wrapped around each pin once or twice, this will still give you a different type of motif with the same type of wrapping. Now I'd like to show you a few pieces with the designs used in them so that you can get uh, some ideas of what to do after you've made your motifs. This pair of earrings were made without a frame. They were shaped around the top to give it a little curve, uh, kind of like a paisley print, which is also used in this as a filler to add to the design and enhance the movement inside the wire. The uh, teardrop was also used in the toe of this boot 
to make it look more like a textured leather look. Here the uh, pear shape was not altered in any way but it was soldered together in a fan shape around a circle with a navette as a bail for the chain and it makes a lovely pendant. The pear shape can also be put in a frame. This is 18 gauge half round sterling silver with the fine silver uh, teardrop on the inside to fill the frame in. Makes a lovely pair of earrings.